large internet giant monopolies, uh, uh, starting with at the top of the list, Amazon, but really including Apple, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, uh, AT&T, Verizon, right on down the list. Uh, they all have an extraordinarily cozy relationship with the national security state, with the military, the intelligence community. Uh, it's a harmonious relationship. It's mutually beneficial for both of them. Jeff Bezos, who owns the Washington Post and Amazon, negotiated a $600 million contract for Amazon to provide cloud-based servers to the CIA. You would think that the Washington Post would maybe add a disclosure about their relationship to the Amazon or to the CIA, but they don't think that that's relevant. They interact at the highest levels, and we've created this uh, military digital complex of sorts, military digital complex of sorts. And Jeff Bezos is at the top of it. It is something that, <clears throat> as President Eisenhower said in his famous farewell address, that we need to discuss the military industrial complex. We must car guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military industrial complex. Uh, that it's a, the, the reigning issue of our era, he said in 1961, and it remains the remaining issue, but now it has additional digital complexion. And I think this is an issue we have to discuss. How much power is in unaccountable monopolies? And these companies are really unaccountable. If we stood outside the United States and Americans saw another country in the situation, we would instantly deride the country as not being remotely close to being on the democratic grid. It's in our own country. I think we should be looking at it in the same lens.